What's up everybody? Bonnie here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm out here with my buddy Jordan, jigging for Pompano right now. We got like an hour before the tide comes to slack. When the tide comes to slack, we're probably gonna go get live bait, kill chirps, greenbacks, and target snook, redfish, trout, and flats. See what happens, guys. Jordan caught a ladyfish earlier. So where there's if you find ladyfish, there's a good sign. You might get on some pump it up. And sand perch. Fish on. Oh, came up. It's starting to come through, it looks like. Small ones though, man. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> they're, they're barely hammering it. Lost two so far. Where's Pompano? Small though. Oh, he might be decent. That's a keeper. For sure. First one of the day. Uh, he might be. What do you think, Jordan? He's right on 11, right? Well, that's the size we've been getting, man, this time of year. You know, barely keeper. Let's see. Let's measure him real quick. <laughs> Dude, he's only 10 and a half. Oh, I guess. Yeah, man. <laughs> they pull, oh, man. man. They're small. Gold on it. <laughs> He's small, man. Look at <laughs> That's cute. We're gonna put this guy back in the water. See ya. That was a school of pompano, literally. Yeah, there was another. There was a couple right next to him. Yeah, small ones so. though. Cool to get on them though. Yeah. Seems like this has been the theme lately. Pompano in the morning and then greenbacks on the flats, catch a snook redfish trout. Pompano! <laughs> Barely keeper, man. He's small again. Yeah, man. <laughs> small one, though. They would say catching six to, to one keeper. We just pulled up to the flats here, and uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cruise around. We're in like three foot of water, three to four foot of water, and there should be some greenbacks and pilchards. Ooh, nice cast, bro. Oh yeah, Jordan. Got the, the mullet. This one, this one's a tarpon bait right here. All right, guys, we just got to the uh, the spot, loaded up with bait. I wouldn't say loaded up with bait. We got uh, like probably a dozen uh, 
greenbacks. I mean, uh, yeah, greenbacks and pilchards. But uh, I got a mullet right here. See if you can't um, see if you can't get snook on it. That mullet. Hopefully they're still here, man. Those big ones. Love that drag down here. Oh my god, that's a big snook. You freaking pop that mullet, yeah. man. I was like, what is that right there, George? Dude, dude that's a big fish. He just, he just hog, bro. Damn. Get him up, bro. <laughs> Get him up, bro. On the twin power. Don't let him, don't let him shake you, bro. Ooh. Ooh. He was fast, dad. Get in there, Tommy. He's done, dude. Hold on. Oh Big my fish. god, bro. <laughs> he popped he that came out there. That big old silhouette of it. <laughs> what a tank. What a tank, bro. Look at <laughs> Damn. Oh my gosh. There's good. I don't think he's ready yet, dude. Keep him up. He's done, man. That twin power. 5,000 twin power. Dang. Look at that fish, guys. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> That's a freaking tank, bro. Good job, Donnie, bro. Yes, sir. Whew. Yes. Let me, let me un un unhook him first. Dude. <laughs> I'm pumped right now, bro. <laughs> here, here, here. Here, grab, here, I'll put that right there. I got him, I got him, I got him. Look at that, guys, let's go! <laughs> what a tank! Dude, I am so pumped right now. He slurped up that mullet, man. I was working the mangroves with the mullet, and I was like, man, what is that dark shadow right there that uh, that, that started swimming towards us? So I pulled out the, um, I started reeling my my uh, my mullet closer to him, and he freaking inhaled it. He was probably that mullet was probably ten inches, man. <sighs> Let's go, yes sir. It's been a while since I've caught a, a fish this big, a snook this big. Man, I am pumped. All right, man. <laughs> I was trying to get a picture of him, but uh, I, we did get the picture, but lost control of that fish. He went in the water. But man, that was a freaking tank. He slurped up that mullet, man. <sighs> that was so sick. That snook like hit it right here, probably 10, 15 feet away from the, uh, the boat. I saw him eat the whole thing, man. It was insane. Felt that initial thump and I was like, oh my gosh, he freaking he hit it. I couldn't believe it. Could not believe it. It was insane. Might be the biggest fish of the year. <laughs> I swear, I catch like one big snook a year. We measured him. He was uh, 38 inches. For sure thought he was like pushing closer to 40, but he was only 38. Solid fish nonetheless, man. All right, before we close out the video, I just want to show you guys the rod and reel combo I was using for uh, pompano jigging. This right here, the rod here is a Shimano Zodias, seven foot medium light, paired up with the Shimano Accent size 3000, 10 pound braid, and a 20 pound fluorocarbon leader. Plenty of drag to stop the fish for your smaller fish, your sheep's head, pompano, even snook too, big snook uh, on the flats. It's just a good all around outfit for your smaller species and um, uh, big fish in wide open water. That's a wrap, man. We tried for like probably 30 minutes to an hour and not a single bite. That snook was kissed to death, but we'll take it, man. He's 30, he's 38 inches. <laughs> Can't complain. Probably the biggest snook of the year, if I were to guess, but who knows. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, hit that like button, hit that bell notification, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys next week. Peace.